Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will not stop thanking God. I will not stop thanking God. I will not stop thanking God. Amen. For his word is life. This morning he told me from the book of Psalm 138, I exhort my word above all my names. I thank God for that expression. But as I begin to minister the word of God, this is what I have to say. The rise of the Antichrist, false Christ and prophets, is in the corner. For the time and the seasons as confirming them. Praise the Lord. There are many things going on in the world. But if you're not listening to the word of God, you are not under tutor that teaches the true word of God. You can be misled. You can get lost just because of the lies are being peddled around today. Praise the Lord. Amen. The disciple of Jesus Christ, after many years of working with him, or three and a half years, he came to a place when they were asking Jesus Christ questions. And this is what Jesus has to give to them. Let me read some of these things before I pray. Matthew chapter 24. The Bible said from verse 1, let me start from verse 1. The Bible said, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And the disciple came to him, for he showed him, for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all things. Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Hmm. Think about that. Thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations of, for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Then, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Let me stop there. Let me stop there. Father, I thank you and I bless you. This is your word. 
The disciples were desirous to know about what to happen when their Messiah, their Lord, is taken away and he promised to return. What shall be the time and the seasons? My Lord and my God, the signs are turning and we are seeing it. Help us to keep ourselves with the truth that will not be deceived by the Antichrist, the false prophets. I thank you, Father, as I minister the word of God. May you speak through me. I remove myself from the sin that you take preeminence and speak through me. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. The days in which you are, many bad things are happening. Unexpected things are happening. But if you are studious, you will not be surprised because it's been spoken about, it's been prophesied. Praise the Lord. This week, I heard a news from a brother. That one word religion is not confirmed. <laughs> By Catholicism and Islam. So commentators name it Chris Islam. Chris Islam. Meaning Islamic faith and Christianity which is Catholicism come together for one agenda to confirm one world religion. But who are behind this? The Pope the vicar of Christ. The so-called vicar of Christ. Yes, that's how they call it. And Mohammed bin Zayed of Kazakhstan. This is unreal. There is no relationship between Islam and Christianity. No matter what is happening now. Iron and clay. Don't no mix. No mix. Which one is iron? Which one is clay? They can never mix. Praise the Lord. And that was what? Was shown to yeah. Daniel. Yes. When he saw the gold, the silver, the yeah. bronze, and the iron. Yeah. And he saw the clay, but they cannot mix. Praise the Lord. The disciples are desirous to know what to be the end like in the time of his return. Jesus began to talk to them. will be left unturned in that building. At a certain place he said a parable concerning himself or he made a prediction concerning his body. But when he spoke those things, they didn't understand it. They thought it was a temple that was built with hand, with bricks, ornaments, mm -hmm. iron, silver, everything, with the altar, everything. It said, this temple shall be destroyed. In three days. But in so three days, it, it shall raise up. But they didn't understand. Today, many of you are hearing parables, predictions. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit inside you, you cannot understand. And you'll be at loggerhead with that statement. The one thing I know and it's a powerful statement. Is that whoso want to grow in knowledge for greatness does not take offense 
at corrections and rebuke. I want to repeat myself. Who's, he who wants to grow in knowledge for greatness does not take offense at correction and rebuke. Let wisdom guide you in your life. Praise the Lord. You know who said that? It was Solomon who said that. The son of David. In Proverbs chapter 9. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 1. That's why he said it. Not Proverbs chapter. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 1. Let me read that. To make sure that uh, I said it right. Proverbs chapter 9. Chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12. How many you? Verse 1. He said what? Who saw love instruction? Love knowledge. But he that hated reproof is brutish. But to paraphrase, he who wants to grow in knowledge for greatness does not take offense at the correction and rebuke. Let wisdom guide you in your life. Praise the Lord. When I heard this, and I read it, if you are not studious, you are study. you not studying, mm -hmm. you will be misled. Of course. These two sets of religion. Mix, Islam is the largest growing church asset now. Christianity is the largest. But major part are Catholics all over the world. Because they came as a universal church from Jerusalem. That's where the church started from. Mm -hmm. Big time. But when they won over Israel, they took everything and went to establish it in Rome called Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic Church, which is, was formerly Universal Church. And because they were backed by the government, they spread all over the places because they were an empire. And they make, Jesus, they make the mother of Jesus Christ and other things as their target to serve God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. But let me say this about Mary. Mary, Mary was just a vessel, a conduit, of course. Mm -hmm. to bring Jesus Christ, the Messiah, into the, the world. world. That's it. He, she has finished her job. And after that, will be subject to the Messiah at the end of her life. And all of us. And all of us. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. At the point in time, Jesus Christ could not call the mother, mother. Because he knew that was, she was just a vessel. She called, woman, why do you seek me? Don't you want me to be above my father's business? Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, I said, how can I call my mother a woman as if I don't know her? But that's the truth. She was just a conduit. A vessel for him coming to the world. And she was seriously choosing to do that. And after she has finished that, at every corner, say, Woman, see your son. Sons, see your mom. Praise the Lord. Let's think about these things. Yep, it's true. Jesus God was telling the disciples who came to him privately and asked this question. Tell us when shall these things that we spoke about be? What shall be the sign of thy coming 
and the end of all the uh, world. Yeah, the end of the world. Jesus answered, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Think about that. Is that happening now? Just like somebody will say, I am anointed. Bring this money. And I will pray for you. And whatever is troubling you, you will be delivered. That's Antichrist. That's false prophecy. Be not deceived. Your miracle will not come when you receive the true teaching of the word of God. Amen. And you believe it. And immediately the Holy Spirit will begin to deal with you and heal you. Mm-hmm. But if somebody cannot preach the true gospel, cannot teach the true gospel, and is performing miracles, I want to suggest to you, you should know that person as an agent of the devil. It's hard yes. for you to believe, but that's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> the Bible says the devil can also perform miracles. Yes. Because God has not taken the powers that He created Him with from Him. But only He cannot incarnate Himself. Like how God incarnated Himself. Theophany, as I heard this morning, God manifests Himself in a person. Deity becoming a person. Mm. Praise the Lord. The devil cannot come like that. Mm. As how God came in the person of Christ Jesus. The devil cannot make himself because the level of his power is curtailed by God. Yep. Because it's created by God. Mm-hmm. So, my brother, my sister, don't follow the devil and his lies. He can come as an angel of light, but it's not the light. The dark, mm. darkness. He can lie to you as he lied to Eve in the garden. And Eve believed and fell and affected all humanity. But thank God that was not the end. God made a provision. Hallelujah. Yes. Some hearing things today. I thank God I heard those things. Amen. The vessel of wrath. That God, according to election, had chosen yes. some yes. to be made vessel of mercy. Mm-hmm. Consider those things that you are hearing. Because they are the only truth that you can hear now that can bless you. Mm-hmm. I have been blessed. Mm-hmm. We were raffle. We were a vessel of wrath. A vessel of wrath indeed, I understood. How come I can claim sonship with God and I can call God my father? Mm. Hey! Father. It's just by mercy, oh hallelujah. Mercy. It's just by your mercy. Mm. Who am I? Mm. Where do I come from? Who is my father? Who is my mother? Mm. Who am I? That today I can claim God to be my father. Yep. And you can call me son. Son. Yes, that's the point. By my mercy, hmm. I change it from wrath to be merciful unto you. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. People don't know. But I pray God, let them know. Amen. Let them understand that what they are hearing and take it seriously. Because it's not to everyone that can get this. Praise the Lord. These things that are happening, the Bible said, many shall come in my name, Mm -hmm. say, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. 
And you shall hear rumors of wars. But are we hearing those things? Yes. Every day. Brother. Kingdom rising against kingdom. Mm -hmm. Is it happening? Yes. Mother in law and daughter in law cannot agree. Hey! You are waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But this is what I have for you. If you're not giving your life to Jesus Christ and make him your personal Savior and Lord, anytime the Spirit of God leaves your body, Jesus has come for you. But where you spend eternity depends upon how you live your life yes. on this planet F. Amen. Hmm. Don't be expecting sometimes the rapture. Nobody in the time of the rapture. But as you are aging, you are growing up, you can die at any time. But the time that you die, Jesus has come for you. Get this. Some of you are waiting for the rapture to see how it's going to happen. Don't wait for the rapture. No, no. Repent. Be ready. Hallelujah. Worship God Amen. in spirit and in truth. Amen. Forsake those idols. Amen. Forsake those images. Yes. Forsake the occult group. Forsake the uh, uh, witchcraft practice. Yes. Forsake the uh, 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 marine spirit practice. Amen. And turn to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let no one deceive you. There's no power beyond the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is rising from the dead. And it's alive forevermore. It's not sitting at the rest of God the Father. Make intercession for us. Be the servant of the Lord Jesus. Receive him into your heart. Yeah. And you turn your life around. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I heard this story. About Chris Islam. <laughs> I know it's not going to work. Because there are servants of God. Who know the truth. Who know buy into that. And because of that. There's going to be persecution. Jesus has said it. Jesus has said it. Let's read from this book. Matthew chapter 27, verse 8. After the famine and everything, they say, And this are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. What am I talking about? This world, one world religion. Do you know that we are looking forward for one world money? Yes, mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Now we are getting the document that has been signed mm -hmm. on the 15th of September. Confirming one world religion, it has come to say, they say on the seventh Congress, Pope Paul, Pope Francis, and Mohammed B. Said, they signed that. Hmm. It has become the religion of one world religion now. The religion of one world, one world religion, that if you don't belong to that religion, persecution shall be upon you. Because many people are going to defend the faith. But because there will be an affront to that order, many shall be killed because they don't want to agree. They say 100. And eight religious bodies were there. Praise the Lord. Jeez, have mercy. Hmm. One hundred and eight religious bodies. 
But the question is, can iron and clay mix? Nope, never. It's not compatible. Here it comes. We are trying to mix iron and clay to see whether it will fit. It doesn't work in the time of Daniel. And it's not going to work in it our time. But what has been prophesied, that's going to happen. Many false prophets will arise. Many false teachers, Christ will arise. It's happening. And those of you who will stand for the truth, Jesus has said it here. He said it here. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. You know what is affliction? Painful attack yes, on your body. Yes. And shall kill you. Thinking they are doing the work of God. And ye shall be hated of all nations. When you are speaking the truth. You will be hated by all nations. For my name's sake. Whose name's sake? Jesus. 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 Who said this? It was Jesus who said this. He's gone. What, 2,000 years ago? But let me tell you, 2,000 years, it's like a two days before God. Mm -hmm. A thousand is like a day before God. And a day before God is like a thousand. Jesus has left 2,000 plus years ago. Yep. To him, it's just like two years. Yes, because yes. there's no time calculation in heaven. Nope. Heaven is timeless. But on planet Earth, yeah. For us. We are calculating. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people say the whole world is about 3 billion years. I just laugh at them. Mm -hmm. Go by the biblical calculation. Then you got the right calculation. Because these things that are in the Bible, it's not man's mind. Mm -hmm. It's God's prediction. Mm -hmm. That he confined the people to write it down. The one who read it who understand his mind towards his creation. Yeah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Paul wrote in Colossians chapter 2. Colossians? Yes. Paul wrote in Colossians chapter 2. Concerning the times in which you are. The times in which you are. Because it's something that I've been reading. I said, Lord, have mercy upon me to understand this. Colossians chapter 2. He said, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. When this declaration was being signed, things were said. According to the commentary, Christ was not mentioned once. Why is Christianity then one world religion? Christ, brother. Iron and clay no, mix. does it mix? Islam and Christianity does it mix? Because they have different agenda. That of Christianity is of Christ, the Messiah. Which other faith believe in? But they cannot accept him as their leader. No. Because he thinks that he taught. They can't accept it because they have their own agenda. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But as a Christian, hear me. Or if you're not a Christian, become a Christian. Listen carefully. Let no man spoil you. Through philosophy, much learning, and very deceit of the traditions of men. After the ridiculment. Rudiments of the world 
and not after Christ. Anything that is done that is not after Christ is not of God. Because Christ is the sum to tell of all the world is doing. Why is it so? The Bible says, verse 9, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of God had boldly, boldly. And he are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and power. In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made with that hand mm -hmm. in putting off the body of the sins of flesh by circumcision of Christ. Mm. Buried with him in baptism, where ye also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who has raised him from the dead. Praise the Lord. Let me stop there. If you don't have Jesus Christ, physical circumcision of the flesh amounted to nothing. Because a spiritual thing that is happening. At a point in time, a prophet was telling the children of Israel, don't circumcise your flesh. But it's circumcision of the heart. Right. Oh, hallelujah. They are judging people based upon circumcision, which is made of hand. But the Holy Ghost is saying circumcision of the heart, which is not the work of a man, mm -hmm. but the word of God. The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let them be circumcised by that circumcision, which is of the heart, which is made by the Holy Spirit. That we can relate to God. Through his son Jesus Christ. Traditions. The Bible says. Because of the tradition of your fathers. You made the word of God of Very none effect. Mm -hmm. But the word of God is effective. Yes. Yes. It delivers. It heals. It sets free. It blesses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it's being preached righteously. And the truth is coming to you. No amount of sickness that you are having in your body. If you receive it justly, you will be healed by that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is our healer. Yes, he is. It is believed that it is God that heals us first before the handiwork of men in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. And they take the credit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But without God healing you, no amount of surgery Medications can keep you alive. But this life that I'm talking about, that the doctors do, is of this world. But there's a life from above, from above mm -hmm. that is given by Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me say this to you. During the confrontation, all the dialogue between Jesus Christ the Samaritan woman at the well. Something happened. Jesus Christ asked a question. As that woman has come to fetch water from the well at that time. Give me water to drink. Amen. The woman said, how can you being a Jew ask me a Samaritan woman to give you water to drink? You say we are impure people. We are mis gene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no relation between us and you. How you ask me? Jesus said, if you know who is asking you to give water to drink, mm -hmm. you first ask him. Yeah, and he give you living. a living water, water. that yes. flow in you. Amen. Like a fountain. Yes. That when you drink it, you will never, will never taste again. Amen. You will never even come here to fetch water. Yes. Oh! Yeah. Hallelujah. The woman said, wait a minute. Where do we get, where will you get that water? Since you have nothing to draw. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, when you meet the Messiah, and his mercy is extended to you, if you are a vessel of wrath, you can be turned a vessel of mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
That's some of us. Mm -hmm. That is some of us. Amen. We were a vessel of wrath. Yes. Destined to be destroyed by the wrath of God. But because of election, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of election, look at me. Mm. I know assuredly God has turned his mercy upon me. Turn my wrath into mercy. That today I can say that I'm a child of God. Amen. I'm a son of God. Amen. I can call God my father. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Because what belongs to Jesus Christ belongs to me. Belongs to me. For he paid a price on my behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. He paid a price on my behalf. Yes. And as I believe, I have eternal life. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. All I'm doing here is to end into eternity. Be on the good side of God. That will look upon me. Will not see who I am as a vessel of wrath. But look at Jesus Christ and extend his mercy to me. Yes. You are a vessel of mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because of Amen. Jesus. Yes. The Jesus I'm talking about has done so much. That we should not take for granted. Never. For the fact that he wasn't selfish. He left his splendor, his kingdom that cannot see God's creation being tormented, being destroyed, being lied to, being mangled or betrayed. By the lies of the devil, therefore, will go as a lamp of God that was slain before the foundation of this world. My time is up to do my part. And he came to seek and to save that which is lost. Oh, hallelujah! 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 hallelujah. And to that, some of, some of us are found. Hallelujah. Yeah. I am found. found too, brother. Some of us are found. Yes. That's why we cannot stop talking about Jesus. Yes. Yes. Somebody said, I take Jesus for mine. I take Jesus for mine. You may have the whole wide world. I take Jesus for mine. I take Jesus for mine. I take Jesus for mine. You may have the whole wide world. I take Jesus for mine. Amen. Listen. I'm serious about what I'm doing. I'm talking about. I have this assurance through the word of God. That the mercy of God. Has been extended to me. Yes. Who is heading toward destruction. Hmm. But here I am. I've been assured by Jesus Christ. As I believe in him. Hallelujah. I have eternal life. Yes. The woman said. Give me. That water. That I may not thirst again. That I may not thirst again. Amen. Oh hallelujah. Amen. Say go. And call yeah, your husband. Mm. The woman said. I have no husband. Say so Jesus said, listen, woman, you have five husbands. And the one you are living with now is not yours. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, praise the Lord. Amen. He has been come to save. Seeking to save. Seeking to save that which is lost. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is looking for you. Mm -hmm. Seeking to seek you and save you. What you are hearing. If I, I am you, I'll run to Jesus. Amen. I'll contact a house of worship. And what needs to be done for me to be done for me. So that I'll be a part of the body of Christ. Amen. He is the head. He is the founder Amen. of the body of Christ. And if you are part of him, you will never be left behind. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ made a prayer for me. I don't know about you, but if you confess him, 
It will be your prayer too. Praise the Lord. Let's open the book of John chapter 17. The gospel according to St. John chapter 17. This is what he said before you go to the crucifixion. Chapter 17, listen to me carefully. The Bible said, this word spoke Jesus as a prayer. And lifted up, his, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify the Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given me. Hey, mm -hmm. what am I talking about now? I'm talking about eternal life. Eternal life. Amen. Let me tell you, it has no beginning. It has no end. Eternal life has no beginning, has no end. That's it. That's it. That's his secret. But if you miss eternal life and you go to eternal hell, the pain will not cease. The frustration will not end. It has no beginning. It has no end. That's why it is paramount, cardinal, important to go to Jesus. The one who give eternal life to raise to receive eternal life from him before it's too late. Amen. Acts, brother. And Jesus Christ, our eternal life. If you don't know, verse 3. And this is the eternal life. That they might know thee, the only true God. And Jesus Christ. Whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee. On the earth. I have finished the work. Which thou hast given to me to do. And now O father. Glorify thou me. With thy own self. With the glory which I had with thee. Before the world was. I have manifest thy name. Unto the man. Which thou givest me. Out of the world. Thine the way, and thou givest thou me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the word which thou hast givest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine. And all mine are thine. And thine are mine. And I'm glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world. And I come to thee. Holy Father, keep them through thy own name. Those whom thou hast given me. That they may be one. As we are one. Whilst I was with them in the world. I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me. I have kept. And none of them is lost. But the son of perdition. That the scripture. Might be fulfilled. Praise the Lord. Let me stop there. Jesus Christ pray for me. And those that have been given. Say he kept them. It said the son of perdition for the scriptures to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, who I'm talking about, you hear me talk about him all the time. The doctrine of Christ is the completion of the word of God. Without the doctrine of Christ, there will be prophecies going on. Hmm. But as you show up on the scene, complete the prophecies of the old prophets. And a new thing begin. That begin with the covenant, which is called the new covenant, hmm. which is not made of blood of tortoise dove, bulls, and goats. But by his own blood, that through the blood of Jesus, I've been washed 
from the sin of Adam and Eve, from my father's sin, from my own sins, and my future sins. Hallelujah. Amen. That blood is still pure today. Amen. When you come under that blood spiritually, your sins will be washed away. I don't know what kind of sin you are afraid of. That God will not receive you again. If you come under that same blood, it will wash away your Adamic sin, your everything that you think is so bad that cannot be forgiven. Yes. That's the Jesus I'm to you. Hallelujah. The devil will remind you of your sins. Nope. But Jesus will not remind you of your sin. Nope. His blood will wash it away. Hallelujah. And set you on the right course. Yes. Right path to eternal life. Mm -hmm. If you are living on earth, you don't know what is meant by eternal life. Hear me this moment. Eternal life is when you are no more under the damnation of the Amen. devil. Amen. Condemn you every day. You have killed before. You commit a uh, 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 you cause abortion, mm. and you lie, you cheat, you do all kind of evil. God, God through the blood <laughs> will set you free yes. and make you new again. Amen. Only forsake the past and walk in the new. You are heading to eternal life. We have an advocate, the Son of God. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, Amen. the Savior, Amen. the Redeemer, who atoned for our sins. That's what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. The devil will never atone for you. <laughs> he will never help you. Because he's a father of all lies. He wants your downfall. I said some time ago that he's never your friend. If he's your friend, he will never come to kill you. That's right. To steal from you. And to destroy you. That is his assignment. If you don't know. I'm telling you now. That he has come to steal. To kill and to destroy. But this Jesus I'm talking about. He has come to give life. life. No, more abundantly. Yeah. Mm -mm. And, yeah. and that life is called. Eternal yeah. life. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Be not deceived. God is not mocked at. As you hear us, every Sunday after every Sunday, hmm. preaching this gospel is not for monetary gain. No. It's just, you will be saved. Hmm. Your love is so precious to God. Hmm. You have to believe on the word of God. And the word is Jesus who manifests himself. Unto the world, mm -hmm. and those who believe in Him shall not, shall not perish, perish but have eternal, eternal life. life. Amen. Oh, hallelujah! Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. When I'm talking about this thing, how I understood it, I want you also to understand it that yes. way. How I bought into it, I want you to buy into it like that, mm. because it's not a thing to be hidden from you. My father said. If Jesus Christ should be a vessel to be cleansed, he will clean it and powder it, cover it, keep it to himself. Mm. But it's not to be kept to oneself. No. Nothing is done in secret. It's an open message. That when you hear it and you repent towards God, have faith in Jesus Christ, your life will turn around. That's what we are talking about. There's no other man. There's no other name. There's no other savior. There's no other philosopher. Neither can that can save you. The only one that can save you is the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. He died with my sins. He was buried. But on the third day, the glory of God, the power of God, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of God raise him out. Hallelujah. Unblameable. Undefiled. Hmm. With a terrestrial body. Incorruptible body. Mm -hmm. That cannot be corrupted. We read from the scriptures. He walked this earth for 40 days. Put the things in order. 
before his ascension. After 40 days, the disciples saw him received into heaven. Hallelujah. And they were gazing into heaven. The Bible recorded that two angels, two men, two angels, stood by watch them and asked them a question. You children of Galilee, why do you stand gazing into heaven? This same Jesus Christ that is see being taken away shall come in like manner mm -hmm. as you see him go. He will no more be coming to serve anybody. He's not going to be born in a manger. No. He's going to come as a judge and a ruler, king of kings, lord of laws, master of masters, ah. to finish the assignment that those who believe in him will have eternal life. Those who are dead, they will be resurrected and join him in the air. Hallelujah. And those who are alive will be turned in the twinkle of an eye because they believe on him. Mm. And just, hey, mm. it's a terrible thing to miss the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. That he will not be in his entourage. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. My brother and my sister, I want to conclude. Be vigilant. Our two sayers, false prophets, false teachers, antichrist, who are coming in the name of Jesus, tell you things about you. But they are wolves in sheep clothing. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Mm. No go for yourself. I told my children. Mm. No go for yourself. That nobody deceive you. Mm. Because there are false prophets there going. Okay. Yeah. As who says. Mm. Can tell something about you. That doesn't mean that they are of God. Mm -hmm. As prophets. As false prophets. Can look at you. And tell you something about your family. That the media of God. Mm. Be studious. Be studious. The word of God. Why am I saying this? Paul said. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Study. Mm -hmm. To show yourself approved unto God. A white man that did not to be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. Mm. If you don't know the truth. You are gullible. If you don't study. You can be deceived. There are soothsayers out there. There are false prophets out there. Just to make merchandise of you. Take advantage of you. Because you don't know what you should know. But if you know what you should know, nobody will deceive you. And I want to conclude by reading, concluding my message by saying that this is what the Bible said. John chapter 17. That's what I'm reading. Verse 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. There's evil in the world now. They are not of the world, even as I'm not of the world. Sanctify them. Through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The word of God is true. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have sent, also sent them into the world. And for their sake, I sanctify myself. That they also might be sanctified through thy truth. Now that pray I for these alone. But for them also who shall believe on me through thy word. That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they may also be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou hast given, givest me, 
I have given them. That they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and thou in me. That they may be made perfect in one. And that they will may, they will, they will may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and have declared unto them my name, thy name, and will declare that they love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm bringing my message to a close. Let this prayer pray be your portion. It's called the Jesus Christ prayed for them. Let this prayer cover them that those who are hearing me will make that decision for you. I thank you for those who are hearers that they will take you. He heed to your word.